are driving through the Midway, I believe. Yeah, this will all be carnival by this time next week. Time. We'll have about 2,286 chairs on the track that, that create our track seating. And then August 9th, our first Friday night, we've got Foreigner and uh, Mickey Thomas and Starship out here. We've got Chubby Checker. The last Friday night of the fair is Toby Keith and Kelsey Kay. And then uh, we wrap up our concerts out here on Saturday, August 17th with uh, a rock concert with Three Days Grace and Hinder. This year we are only having tractor pulls, which is just contained in the front uh, straightaway that you see here in front of us. Um, we've got two days of that, Sunday and Monday. This is this the is, new this is arena. This brand new arena, the new, okay. new livestock arena. When was it finished? Uh, actually, we finished it on July 24th. It'll be used for several things. We're actually going to host uh, some of our livestock uh, shows in the in the warm during the fair. The nice thing about this was we were able to expand it. It's uh, 10 feet wider than the original and about uh, 20 feet longer. In our swine last year, we're, uh, we had over 800 barrows. You know, those kids certainly through our, our 4-H and FFA programs are looking for projects, you know. What is the appeal of pig races anyway? <laughs> you know, I don't know what it is. I, it's cute for one thing, and a lot of fun. It draws a crowd every show they do, day in and day out through the fair. We have a fully functional modern dairy center milking parlor here. Oh. The Missouri Dairy Association runs and operates the building for us, and I don't know how many varieties of ice cream they got, but if you don't make a trip down here at least once a day, especially when it's hot, and uh, get some of their ice cream, you're really missing a treat. And also, in the, in the big cooler here is where we house the uh, butter cows. 